Well, Thursday, Thursday, you know what that means? That time of the week again, yes, we're talking about fishing tips. This week, Ray and Mandy tell us everything we need to know about using paddle tails. Tonight, we'd like to talk a little bit about paddle tails. Um, this is one of the really hot trends that's developing in fishing. It's good for bass. If you get little ones, it's good for everything. In Minnesota, it can be good for walleyes, northerns. They're absolutely a dynamite product. They come in sizes, different sizes and shapes and varieties, and they're a very, very effective technique for catching fish without using live bait. There is one drawback that you need to be aware of, which is important to show that you have good line, good leader. Research is showing that when fish eat these, if they break off and they swallow them, they aren't going through their digestive tract, so they, they can kill a fish. So be sure if you're using these, you use a good product and make it make so the line doesn't break easily. And it's a great way to, to catch fish. Paddle tails, paddle tails, paddle tails. The great part is, like Ray said, you can use them for any species depending on size. This one right here, this is a sexy shad. Um, this size alone, just this exact size, you will catch wally, you will catch pike, you will catch bass. I mean, the, the applications for them are, I mean, pretty much unstoppable for any species depending on the size and the color. This one here I simply have on a, on a Northland jig head and this one would run uh, horizontally through the water. They come in little tiny ones and again you'll notice that tail, it's a little bit of a paddle tail right there. And you can use something like this on a, just a plain jig or you can put it on a Lindy rig and use it on a plain hook and you can suspend it, you can fish it with uh, up and down, vertical. Um, it, it's, it's just got a, a lot of different techniques. And these, comes at, these come in all different sizes and shapes and colors. And sometimes the okay. colors that you would least expect the fish to bite are the most popular. Greens are very popular, blues are very popular. They're just a dynamite technique. And another way I like to use them is uh, this is a dynamite rig. This is a little weighted sinker on here with a spinner, and it's just something I cast or troll and bring it right over the weed lines, and it is a fabulous way to pick up fish. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.